A healthy person has many, many dreams. They dream of achieving the object of their desires. They dream of climbing that mountain, of sailing through the Caribbean, of watching their children growing up, of being active and hanging out with their friends. They dream of achieving the goals of their life, of helping other people and living what I call a maximum potential life. But an unhealthy person has just one dream. They dream of not being sick. They dream of making the pain that they're feeling stop. They dream of a freedom from the oppression of sadness and low energy and sickness and being fatigued all the time. Welcome to the DNA Reset. You're one of the people that are here because you want better. You're one of the people who are ready to change your life. The definition of insanity is to continue to do the same thing over and over and over again and expect a different result. Well, once you're sick, or once you want to maximize your life, a new path has to be followed. They say, a thousand mile journey begins with a single step. The next step is finding your reason for being here, what I call your must. Only once you activate the power of the must, once you begin to have a good enough reason to do whatever you have to do to be healthy, can you activate the power of the mind. This has been called so many things. It's been called faith, and they say faith the size of a mustard seed can move a mountain. It's been called the placebo, which is the greatest determinant in health and medicine. It's been called the great secret, the secret to achieving anything you want in life. It's been called the power of positivity or just belief. It is the belief that you can heal yourself, but only if you find a good enough reason for doing it. By changing the patterning of our thoughts, the story that we tell ourselves is how we can begin to heal. If you tell yourself over and over and over again that you're not good enough, or that you're sick, or that you don't deserve to be healthy, or that you're angry, then that is the message that you're sending to your body. If you tell yourself that you're healthy, and you send messages of health, that you're happy, that you're at peace, and that you're full of love, it's almost impossible not to be healthy. And so before we even begin the whole doctoring part, changing the mind frame is the first step. When a patient comes to me, the first thing I do is I listen. I ask them to tell me their whole story. And in the end, once they've told me, I ask them, why do you have to be healthy? If the person says something to me like, I'm going on a vacation with my husband in six months, and it's been my life's dream to walk through the streets of Europe, I think, perfect. Or if a woman comes to me and says that she has to be healthy because she's a single mother, and that her two little children depend on her, and that she wants to see them grow up to be strong and healthy people, I also think, perfect. These people are motivated to be healed. They want to be healed. They have a reason that's even greater than themselves. When someone comes to me and says, uh, I don't know why I'm here. My wife made the appointment. I don't really care. I guess, she's, I guess she's sick of hearing me complain. I think no motivation. This person's going to have trouble, if not, if not a complete impossibility in healing. Before you can take the whole body health path, you have to find your reason. If you're just shambling in the woods, bouncing from path to path with no direction and no destination, no reason to be healthy, it's likely you will never find it. No matter what book you read, what doctor you visit, what health food store you shop at, what hospital you're near, you will never find health until you find your reason for it. We must work to find a sufficient must statement and visualize its attainment. I understand that for many people who are depressed or in chronic pain, this is a very hard thing to do. But these affirmations, finding our must statement and repeating it over and over again will help reprogram our subconscious and will help remove the mental blocks that are stopping us from achieving whole body health. So in creating your must, try to visualize it right down to your core. What is the must reason? What is the reason for trying to get healthy? Why do you have to do this? Go to the mirror 
Look yourself straight in the eyes and say these powerful words. I know that every cell of my body is fully and completely healthy and functioning perfectly. I here and now commit to letting go of my past afflictions, suppressed painful emotions, and the diagnosis that I've received, and I allow these to flow out of my body because they are not me. I'm replacing them with feelings of joy, love, and strength, and a strong belief of wellness. I must do this. I will be aware of my thoughts, and I refuse any thought that does not match my new state of health and love for myself. I will repeat this every day as many times as needed until I have achieved the self-confidence I know I deserve. I am winning. I am perfect. I am healthy. And I love myself completely and unconditionally. So even if in the beginning you don't believe it, you say, I'm not healthy, I'm not attractive, I don't deserve to be healthy. If you say it enough times, you will be. And so to summarize this first step, first, congratulations. Congratulations on taking the first step towards health. Congratulations on starting this thousand mile journey. You deserve it. The first thing that you have to do after taking this first step is realize why you're taking it. Write down your must statement. Write down why you have to finish this journey, why you have to get your health back. On the flip side, write all the things that are going to happen if you don't. Like I said, all the things that you're afraid of. And then look at this every single day. And then once you have your must statement, repeat the must statement. Repeat it every single day. I must get healthy. I must get healthy. I must follow through with this so that whatever it is that you need to do. Congratulations.